Brand nut soup is very similar to a goosey soup. So if you can't buy a goosey seeds where you live, Grand nut soup is the next Nigerian soup to go for. It is one of those soups that can be prepared in several ways with the same results. And like most other Nigerian soups, it is served with any of these fufu recipes and many more. The main ingredient is raw ground nuts, also known as peanuts. Then the rest of the ingredients are what we use to prepare a goosey soup. I'll list everything in the description of this video below. First, we roast the bran nuts till they have these dark marks. It is important to stir constantly so that the nuts do not burn. I use an old frying pan for this, you can also use a pot. So once you see these dark marks on about 50% of the ground nuts, it is okay to take it off. Then set aside to cool down completely. Here I'm using my pressure pot to cook the shaki, stockfish and dry fish. With this pressure pot, these are cooked in no time. Please note that I soaked and deboned the dry fish earlier. When the ground nuts have cooled down completely, grind them with a dry meal. The roasting makes the grinding easier. It also gives the ground nuts a nice aroma. Nigerian pumpkin leaves should be used for this soup, but if you are outside Nigeria, frozen spinach is the next best vegetable for your Nigerian soups. I usually squeeze out the excess water from the spinach before adding it to the soup. When the shaki is done and the fish is soft, I set them aside and cook the beef in a separate pot. Add the seasoning, in this case stock cubes. There's no need to add water when cooking beef, you know, the fleshy part of beef. Because the water from washing the meat and its natural water content is sufficient. You will need to move it around till the meat is pale all over, then cook till done. You see? All that water came from the beef. Cooking meat this way also guarantees that the seasoning penetrates the meat, making it taste much better than when water is added. Now add the shaki and fish. Ground grey fish, ground dry pepper, you can also use fresh ones, that's habanero pepper. and salt. Cook till it boils very well. Then remove the meat and fish and add the ground ground nuts. very well till there are no lumps. At this point, the heat should be very low, otherwise this burns like no man's business. Cover and start cooking, stirring every 5 minutes and add water if necessary.
Repeat the process till you see some clear oil at the surface of the soup. This should take about 15 to 20 minutes. Now add palm oil. The job of palm oil in Nigerian soups is to add color to the soup. So the quantity depends on how you want the soup to look. You see the transformation? Add the beef and fish and cook till it starts to boil. For some people, the granite soup is ready at this time. But for others like me, I'll add some vegetables. Again, the quantity of vegetables depends on how you want the soup to look. But remember, this is granite soup, not vegetable soup. So do not go overboard with the vegetables. <laughs> Granut soup is delicious, but for those who have never tasted it, I must say that it has some sweetness to it which is uncommon with Nigerian soups. But once you get used to it, you will definitely want to add this soup to your family menu. See you soon!